That's the first dead giveaway. Okay. The second dead giveaway is, do you remember I was talking about an SDLC port? Right. That stands for Synchronous Data Link Control. Okay. If you don't have anything, even though this controller has the capability of working in that world, because it, it's not being utilized, there's no SDLC here, and the monitor is an old monitor, it doesn't have one. If the monitor had a new one of these ports, it would now be called an MMU, Maintenance Management Unit, instead of a it does the same thing, but it has enhanced functionality. But if you look at this port right here, there's no cable hooked up, right? So I tell them there's two real signs to know whether if it's TS1 or TS2. We'll talk about the two different types of TS2 later, because we don't okay. really see any of those. Right. But just to know if it's TS1 or TS2, shelf not detectors is a dead giveaway. But you can have a rack and rack cars in a TS1 cabinet. Doesn't have to be shelf. Then you look at your controller and say, is there anything hooked up to here? Or is there anything hooked up to the monitor besides your connectors? If not, it can't be TS2 because TS2 communicates through that SDLC, RS45 data. Okay. So there's some other nuances of the TS2 we'll start talking about, but a TS2 cabinet never has shelf mount detectors, it always has a rack. And in the rack has something called a BIU the acronym for bus interface unit. Okay. So basically all that does is you can program your vehicle calls to go anywhere through that BIU in the controller. Your latest, greatest NEMA standard um, is the TS2 Type 1, which it ain't that new. It's been around a while. The TS2 Type 1 has a BIU in the rack, and it also has two BIUs on the back panel, or maybe more, but the advantage of that is, thank you. Thank you.